What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thanks for stopping in once again. This is Clayton Youngberg coming at you from the number one website for all things Android, androidauthority.com. Today we've got a head-to-head -head comparison between the quad-core processor and the dual-core processor located in the Samsung Galaxy S3. All right, today we've got a head-to-head -head comparison between the quad-core Exynos chipset in the international unlocked version of the Samsung Galaxy S3 and the Snapdragon S4 uh, dual-core processor in the carrier variants and uh, US version of the Samsung Galaxy S3. So anyways, I've got a few tests. So anyways, I've got a few tests lined up to put these two through the motions. We're going to be playing some Dead Trigger. Both of them I've modded to uh, fully enable the uh, Tegra 3 graphics on the game. So we get the full graphics. We're going to put these under a heavy load. And then we're going to be doing a quadrant test as well as just uh, some transition tests, maybe some web browsing, uh, maybe some camera power. But without further ado, let's check out the uh, Dead Trigger gameplay. We'll open it up on both devices. So you can see our S4 was in a bit of a lead, but I did possibly press it just a bit sooner on the uh, Snapdragon processor. I'm not going to rate the game. Now even though we got a prompt to rate the game on the uh, quad core, it still booted up a little bit faster. We've got our main quest here. Now we're just going to go to the main quest on each of these, and then I'll pause one. Looks like I pressed that just about the exact same time, so we'll see which one comes out on top. Looks like the quad core is uh, getting a little bit ahead. Now, anyways, uh, before any zombies come, you can see that the uh, Tegra 3 graphics are enabled. We have our steam and we have our water. So we will just pause on the uh, S4 Snapdragon, and we'll kill a few here. I'm getting killed from behind. Oh, it must be this crawler. Didn't know that there was crawlers in this game. So anyways, you saw that. Now we'll do it on our uh, dual core S4. See, it's still rendering really nicely, our water. And let's kill these guys. A slight bit of lag right there, but our two gigabytes of RAM does well. Especially when multitasking. Now, mind you, I didn't have any apps open before I opened the Dead Trigger application. But we'll walk under the water that drips here. You can see our uh, water dripping animation. And we'll also do the same on the quad core version of the Galaxy S3. See our water renders very nicely there. It's like the speeds are just about at par with each other. I mean, they're not going to be too different. And we got our water here. So we have the water on each device rendering at just about the exact same speed. Really nice. And we'll just let ourselves get killed and see if there's any lag involved. And uh, there's not. So we'll go home on each device. And I pressed them at the exact same time and it looks like they actually made it there at the exact same time as well. Now we'll go into our... Uh, task management system in our app manager. We'll just long press the home button. They both came up at the exact same time again. We did have our task manager open and our dead trigger. We will remove all and now we'll press once again to go into our task manager. You can see how much RAM is free. Now of course the Snapdragon S4 has a lot more RAM. This comes with two gigabytes. Uh, looks like we have uh, 425 megs used and on the uh, quad core we have 406 megabytes used. We'll clear the memory and see what we get then. So like we got 327 and then we got 325. So basically it's across the board as far as RAM usage. Uh, it's even across the board. But we do have a lot more RAM available on the uh, Snapdragon S4. Now that being said, we'll close our task manager just so there's no uh, running apps. And we'll perform a quadrant test. Now each of these are hooked to the same Wi-Fi network. So let's actually see which one uh, completes the benchmark. And we'll actually watch the entire benchmark and uh, make note of the FPS that it's running at. So, let's do this. Looks like I might have tapped the uh, run benchmark just a little bit sooner on the S4, but we'll see if that makes a difference. Definitely looks like our CPU is going a bit faster on the uh, quad core anyways, on the Exynos chipset. But once we get to memory, we will see a significant boost in the uh, Snapdragon model over the quad core. Looks like we were running at 60 frames per second there. We've got 61 here. 
We got a peak of 66. We have 61. All right, so when we check out our quadrant tests on each of these, we'll just pop our screens on once again. We got a uh, 5585 on the quad core model of the Samsung Galaxy S3, and then we got a 4959 on the dual core. Now, as far as CPU, we got 12,870 on the quad core, and we got 8,464. So we got uh, a little more than two th than 4,000 more, excuse me, on the uh, quad core model. But then, as far as memory, we got 7,034 on the dual core, and we got uh, 4,486. So we got about uh, 2,000 more in memory on the uh, Snapdragon S4. Now our 2D is just about the same. Um, you know, this is still a super, super good score. It still beats out most of the phones out there. So we'll go back. We'll see if uh, these two core, we'll see if the two CPUs have an effect on the camera. And we'll actually turn these both to snapshot. And so let's just take a few snapshots. Both just as fast. Camera performance is great. Well, anyways, guys, there was our quick comparison between the dual core and quad core variants of the Samsung Galaxy S3. Now, as far as benchmark results go, the uh, quad core Xenos chipset obviously scored more, but uh, the RAM, the two gigabytes of RAM on the dual core model, bumped it up to just about you know in the same uh, tier of scores. So they're both great devices. No matter which one you guys buy, I wouldn't really base your decision on the amount of cores in the um, international version as the two gigabytes of RAM can really run basically a lot more applications just because of all that extra RAM. But anyways, guys, if you like the videos, go ahead and uh, subscribe to AndroidAuthority.com. We got more where this is coming from. <laughs>